citizens of Israel. Good evening and Happy New Year. A month ago, I promised that we would change the balance of power in the north, and that is what we have been doing ever since. For the 11 months preceding this, we focused on one front, eliminating the murderous military force of Hamas after the horrific massacre it committed against us on October 7th. We also committed to bringing all our hostages home, 154 have already been returned. During those months, the residents of northern Israel, who were evaluated to prevent a similar massacre on the Lebanon border, endured continuous attacks of missiles, rockets, drones, and mortars. Although we responded to those attacks with force, it was not enough to restore security in the north, and it was not enough to bring them back home. However, we committed to returning them home to safe and full lives in the cities, towns, and kibbutzim along the Lebanon border. About a month ago, as we neared the destruction of Hamas battalions in Gaza, we began to fulfill the promise I made to the residents of the north. We eliminated Nasrallah and Hezbollah's leadership as well as the commanders of the Rabbin force who had planned to invade the Galilee and carry out an even more horrific massacre against our citizens than that of October 7. We have destroyed a significant portion of the missile and rocket array that Hezbollah has been building for years. And right now, our brave soldiers are dismantling Hezbollah's terror tunnel network, which was secretly prepared right along our border. Although we have not yet completely removed the threat, we have clearly changed the course of the war and the balance of the war, and we are not finished. You remember that Nasrallah used to mock us. He called us spider webs. He, and the entire world, have now discovered the iron sinews of the state of Israel, a strong nation with a strong, bold, and moral army, a nation determined to defend itself against any threat. This includes the threat from Iran, which is behind all the attacks against us, from Gaza, from Lebanon, from Yemen, from Iraq, and Syria, and, of course, from Iran itself. Iran has already twice launched hundreds of missiles at our territory and our cities in one of the largest ballistic missile attacks in history. No country in the world would accept such an attack on its cities and citizens, and neither will the state of Israel. Israel has the duty and the right to defend itself and respond to these attacks, and that is what we will do. Citizens of Israel, as we enter the new year, we do not forget, and I do not forget, our 101 hostages in Gaza, to whom we are fully committed to bringing home. We always remember our heroes who fell in Gaza and Lebanon in this just war of survival. Together we stand, together we fight, and with God's help, together we will win.